God bless each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. For to live is to suffer, but for us to survive is to focus on Christ. Though the pressure bears us down, and the burdens are too heavy to carry, for alone we can do nothing. So it's for us to call on our Father in heaven, crying out, Father, help us to carry this weight. And the only way we can carry it is God's love to guide us and bear us up. We need the Holy Spirit to strengthen us. We need the Holy Spirit to bear us up. Because in the world, as we slowly drown in the suffering of life, it is other that keeps us surviving. It is our Father in heaven, God Almighty, that guides us and strengthens us. In our mind and our spirit, He does strengthen. He helps us though we be broken and though we be exhausted. Though we feel we can go no further, it is He in His love a blinding light, pure light beyond all understanding, blinded by the love and the grace of God to keep us going even when we are at our worst. For he will not stop the works he has begun in us, for he has come to save and not to condemn. He will fix, he will cleanse, he will purify all that needs purging of us so that we can be as we ought though we may be drained and though we may be shattered by it all we hold to that thread of hope that hope in Christ Jesus our Lord and Saviour for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved to so call upon him and stay armoured up, ready for the end, being prepared for every attack of the enemy, the relentless onslaught of the ever-continuing, ever-crashing waves of the storms of the enemy. So don't be anxious about anything, but in all things, in prayer and supplication, giving thanksgiving, letting your requests be known unto God, asking and seeking for his peace, which does surpass all understanding, that he guide you and guard your heart and your mind, in Jesus Christ. So don't lose heart. Don't waste away on the inner self. Instead, be renewed daily in mind and spirit. For all affliction does not really matter it bears no regard in to consideration of what is yet to come the glory that is for when we cry for help the lord hears and he delivers us from our troubles we merely need trust be prepared for those trials in steadfastness don't let temptation overtake you do not be dismayed, but let God strengthen you and help you. Let him uphold you with his righteousness. Stand ever prepared. Be ever ready. And trust in your shepherd who takes care of you. So don't fear the things you're about to suffer in this world. Stand in meekness, seeking God for all wisdom and all understanding. Persevere steadfastly under trial, for it is he that works in us to strengthen us. We can rejoice in hope. So stay hoping, hold on to that thread of hope, and be ever steadfast in that storm so that you can bear up the burden and the pressure that pushes us down. Because God is there to keep us afloat 
When we lose our focus, he reminds us of the truth, keeping us focused and humble in Christ. Keep holding on and don't give up, because there are certainly more trials that are in store, certainly more disasters that are up ahead, certainly more failures that we are to overcome. So we are to stay prepared and stay armoured up in Christ. Put upon your spiritual armour, ready, broken at the foot of the cross on your knees in prayer, bowing your head unto your Lord and Saviour to save you. Stay prepared. Know better, do better. Be prepared to go the extra mile and keep marching forward and onwards as a good soldier in Christ. Don't let this world make your heart grow cold, but keep loving, keep persevering, keep enduring unto the end. God bless each and every one of you.